In this video I will be reviewing the brand new 4K UHD Blu-ray of Ghost in the Shell. This is the original 1995 anime film and I'll be going through the pros and the cons so you can work out whether this is worth buying or not. Hello, my name's Elliot and this channel is all about collecting Blu-rays. So in this video I'm obviously going to be talking about the Ghost in the Shell 4K Blu-ray that has just been released. I've imported this from the US but obviously being a 4K disc, it's region free. So no matter where you are in the world and what Blu-ray player you have, you will be able to play this on a 4K player. I must say that Ghost in the Shell is one of my all time favorite films. I've seen this countless times and every time I watch it, I get something more from it because it's a very deep and a very complex film dealing with all sorts of complex metaphysical issues. And also it's very dialogue heavy and a lot of the time you can miss the actual context of what the characters are saying. So it's a very rewarding film for, for re-watching, which I think makes it perfect for having in your Blu-ray collection. Before I get into the disc itself, I must say I really do like the packaging. It has this really nice shiny slip cover. So any collectors that are into fancy slip covers and things like that, this will be a release that you'll like. And then within the packaging, you get the standard Blu-ray, you get the 4K Blu-ray, and you also get a digital download card if that's your kind of thing. So is this new disc worth it? And is it one that you should be upgrading from your old Blu-ray copy? Before I get into my answer to that, I will say that I've been checking out other reviews of this disc and it has quite a, a, a split reception. There are some people that really do like this disc and some people that really don't. So I found that very interesting before I actually got into watching this myself. So let's talk about the picture quality. So it has been scanned in 4K, but obviously this is an animation film. And I know many people think, what's the point of animation in 4K? Because there's only so much detail that you can get out of hand-drawn animation or even computer-generated animation. Now, I totally understand where you're coming from, but there's still many benefits that you can get in terms of picture quality, let alone audio quality, from a 4K disc of an animated film. The increase in resolution up to 4K is probably where you won't notice much difference in the image, although I did see sharper details in this compared to the older Blu-ray presentations of the film. The place where I think this disc really shines in terms of 4K is in the HDR and the wide colour gamut that's present on this disc. So the colours are more vibrant, there's more of a, a spectrum in there, and that's really important in terms of the use of green in this film. Green is very present. There's quite a famous scene in the film early on when Major is chasing one of the brain-hacked guys, and they end up fighting in this place where there's shallow water, and there's a shot of this long street, and on the cement walls, there's loads of colourful banners and posters and things stuck to the wall. And that's a shot where the wide colour gamut really is exemplified on this disc. And, and that made me go, you know, whoa, this really does look much better than the older Blu-ray. Another sequence where this 4K disc really shines is in the opening title credits when Major's body is first being constructed and you, you see her female form you know, being born out of these machines and, and coming out of the water. And some of those scenes are very bright indeed. And I think the whites in that scene look very good indeed. So there's many places in this film where I could see a clear difference just from memory of how this is much better than the older Blu-ray. I've noticed that there are some fellow reviewers out there who have come to this film for the first time on 4K. So they maybe aren't acquainted with how the film looked before and certain sequences in the film. And there are parts of this film where there are computer generated images used within the film alongside the animation. So there are sequences where there are maps that are being used to track people and objects around the city. And that's all 3D computer generated. And I admit those sequences don't look that good and that's not because of the 4k i think that's just because of the technology that was used in the original film 
So I think there have been some detractors to this disc because of those kind of sequences. But unfortunately, that's just part of the film. And personally, I, I don't have a problem with those sequences. It, it adds to the my personal nostalgia of the film. It feels very 90s. So I don't mind those sequences. But if you're coming to this film for the first time, beware that there, yeah, there are these sequences that is very 90s CGI kind of stuff. If you're enjoying this review of the Ghost in the Shell Blu-ray, please do consider subscribing to this channel for more news and videos about 4K Blu-rays because I do many videos about this topic and you could join this awesome community and if you subscribe, you get notified about these videos as soon as I upload them. Anyway, back to Ghost in the Shell. So moving on, unfortunately where this disc does fall down a bit is in the audio department. So there are a few different audio tracks on this disc. There's an English Dolby Atmos audio track, so that's the English language dub. There's the original Japanese audio track in Dolby Atmos. There's a Japanese 2.0 LPCM track and then there's an English audio description track as well. I'm mainly going to be talking about those Atmos tracks because that's what we come to 4K for. We like a good Atmos track on a 4K disc. The English Dolby Atmos track for the most part sounds great. The, the sounds are very well distributed. I know some people have had problems or they've taken issues with some of the audio separation being a bit gimmicky. What I mean by this is there are sequences where there are helicopters flying overhead and there are bullets whizzing past and these are separated into different tracks and if you have your system calibrated properly it sounds like helicopters are flying over your head. As some people think that's a bit gimmicky I actually quite enjoyed it and I, I thought it was quite cool to have that on the track so for the most part it, it sounds pretty damn good. But my personal preference with watching Ghost in the Shell is watching it with the original Japanese soundtrack. I, I think it just adds to the atmosphere and obviously it's set in Japan as well. Even though a lot of the locales are inspired by Hong Kong, like a lot of the buildings and the streets is all very Hong Kong inspired. But anyway, I prefer the Japanese track and unfortunately there are a number of issues for Ghost in the Shell fans that it's really irritating because this could have been such a great release, but unfortunately it's let down by some, you know, sloppy oversight with this Japanese track. Believe it or not, there are actually points in the Japanese Dolby Atmos track where the dialogue actually drops out. So you can hear the other sounds in the film, but the dialogue has just dropped out and you can't hear any of it. I know there's meant to be dialogue in those parts because there are subtitles on the screen so that's really annoying and it really does you know it sticks out and it's definitely you know a knock against this release so the dialogue drops out around about the 58 minute mark in the film admittedly it's not pivotal dialogue and it's not from a main character but it is very noticeable and i think it's about two lines or three lines that drops out so it only happens at that part of the film as far as i'm aware but, you know, it's annoying and it's just an oversight. This surely should have been picked up by anyone that was testing the audio tracks on this release. So it's just a letdown. It's a real letdown. And I, hopefully they can reissue this disc and send out replacements. But honestly, I don't think they're going to. The other big gripe that Ghost in the Shell fans have with this disc is in the Japanese audio track, the song that plays during the end credits should be the iconic song from Kenji Kawai, the composer who made all the brilliant music for Ghost in the Shell. But in fact, it was replaced by a song that was made by U2 and Brian Eno for the English release of the film. So they've actually replaced that in the Japanese Dolby Atmos track which is totally bizarre. I don't know why they would have done this. Maybe this wasn't a choice of Lionsgate. Maybe this is one of the Japanese production companies that's decided to use this. I don't know why, because the original score by Kenji Kawai is so iconic and it's amazing. So when the credits started rolling and I was watching 
the Japanese Atmos track on this. It's such a letdown, really such a letdown. And I know it's it might not seem like a big deal to have the wrong audio track playing over the credits. But again, it's just one of these things that kind of is a knock against this release. So in conclusion, Ghost in the Shell on 4K, is it worth buying? Well, I think if you're a super fan of Ghost in the Shell, I do believe that this is still the best home video presentation. So you're getting the best visuals, certainly, that we've ever had. The audio problems are a bit of a bummer. But again, in certain parts of the film, the audio does sound really great. So if you're a fan, it's a no brainer. If you've not watched Ghost in the Shell before, it may not be the best blind buy because it's not one of these films that is going to blow you away in 4K. It's certainly not a reference quality disc, but I do think it looks good. And if it sounds like your kind of film, it, it is worth picking up. I do want to say a big thank you to my Patreon supporters, my Fellini fanatics. I'll include your names on the screen right now. If you want to check out my Patreon page, you can do. It's patreon.com forward slash boutique Blu-rays. And I'm going to be doing lots of exclusive videos on there and you can request certain things from me and you can join the private discussions that we have about movies. So it's a lot of fun if you want to get involved. So please do go and check it out. If you want to stick around on the channel, by all means, click one of the videos that's going to be suggested to you now because you may be able to get some more good recommendations for 4K discs. Anyway, I'll be back very soon for another video. So until then, stay well and keep watching great films.